doing the kneecap pass on me, like so. Uh, I don't want to get all the way to here, okay? This is like last stage. Once his knee's down and everything, I'm in a, a lot of trouble. So we go back, and I look to get uh, a few things that are going to stop this. The first one, uh, I'm going to look for a reverse telehiva hook. So Brad's going to, be, if, he, if he gets his controls right, he's going to stop me getting it as we go for it. So I'm going to have to fight the hands a little bit, but as he goes in, I want to hook my my right leg underneath his thigh with my toes sort of looping around the top. So it's actually like a hook, okay? Um, but the aim of this now, once I've got this, is actually to close the gap here, okay? It's gonna give me a little bit of power later on, like when I want to extend, I can kind of use both feet. Uh, one leg's not great for, for extending. Um, but straight away, when I've got this, I want to curl in and bring my arm underneath my leg as well, okay? This makes it so there's no space for Brad to, to finish the knee through in. Okay, so as we go here, we're gonna go like this. My left foot, ideally will go to the hip, but if I can't go to the hip, let's say he's, uh, he's cleared my foot like we just did uh, before, using our arm. I need to block with my hand so I can get my foot in front. You don't have to be really flexible to do this, guys. You just gotta be flexible enough that if your hand's straight, you can put your foot in front of your hand, okay? If you're really not flexible, you might struggle with that, but you don't have to be able to like put your foot to your head. You just got to be able to block with your hand and put your foot over the top where your hand is. So most people should be able to do that. All right, so we're here. Where it goes in, I'm going to hook. I bring my arm underneath to support my leg and give no space here. Okay. My left hand's going to straighten and block, and my foot's going to go over the top. We're going to kick a little bit and then go to the hip. Okay. So when we go over to the shoulder. We push and get it onto the hip. All right. Now that both feet are pretty much near the hip, I'm aiming to control the far arm so he can't block my bottom leg. I kick and I recover my leg. So I just need to get it pretty much to the hip and I can recover back to go. Okay. Again, we get our hook, I curl in, we block, I push until I get my foot on the hip and then I want to control this arm. Okay, if I don't do that, when I push to put this back, he's just going to block my leg and stop me getting my guard back. Okay, so I just need to control this arm. Now he can't do that. So I take my leg to the far hip and we recover. Once more. Okay, one extra key detail with this. You actually don't want to kick as far as possible. Okay, so sometimes people, I think when they try to push away, like I don't want to fully straighten because then I take my leg out but I've got nothing to attach it to so he can just push that down again and, and uh, recover. So when I, when I kick to straighten it's a, to about here. Okay, I've still got a little bit left in me but just at this range I can actually like step on his, on his uh, thigh and that'll help pull me through. Okay, so once more. I'm going here. And recovering. If you get the chance, you don't have to worry about, like if, you, if your opponent's not blocking it, just go straight to the hip, okay? But if they block your, your arm well, you're gonna have to kick and recover, control, and recover our guard, okay? Let's have a go. Uh, let's go three minutes each. Three, two, one. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna teach something that's uh, potentially advanced, but I think you, you guys will be fine. Um, it's advanced in that like not everyone gets this movement really well, um, but it is quite effective, so it's good to learn. Um, so we're basically gonna try to uh, invert and spin through towards the back, okay? Now, uh, I'm gonna teach this a little bit wrong, because I think it's easier if you do it wrong. When I say wrong, it means like uh, a, probably like verbal belt and up, you're gonna struggle to get this one to work if they know a, a good counter, okay? Um, but, I'll, I'll show you the right way as well, but it's harder to do. So we'll do the wrong way first. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. Brad goes for the knee cut, and I get this hook. Maybe for whatever reason, like I get my, I get my foot back on, on the hip, or maybe I didn't even get the foot back on the hip, um, but I see that there's like, uh, Brad's hips are pretty high here, uh, and I see there's a chance to actually spin through this gap that he's got here. So what I'm gonna do, I reach my left hand, my right hand, sorry, all the way underneath and I turn my palm to face towards my head, okay? 
imagine this hand's basically going to do a bicep curl, okay? So I'm going to swing my leg wide and I'm going to bicep curl until my head touches my hand, like this, okay? So, we're right here, I'm going to swing my leg wide, like that, and I bicep curl, okay? I say swing the leg wide, but as we come in, I'm going to tuck it, like that. So, wide, bicep curl, and tuck. Now I'm at the back, I just get both leg, hands on the legs, Keep your leg position exactly how it is. Both are just gonna push forward. So this shin and the back of this leg, you're gonna push forward like that. And we pummel to get both legs behind. For now, just sit up. Grab onto the hips and we can start to, to, to get up, okay? So here, like this, we're gonna reach underneath, swing wide, bicep curl until we get out the back. Pushing forward. Get both legs to here, okay? From here, keep pressure forward. You're gonna come onto the hips, like this. Maybe just stop once you grab the hips. Uh, there's some ways to get up from here, but for now this is a, a good spot to end up. All right, if you feel like that's easy, the better way is actually not to swing your leg wide, okay? Because this opens up a chance for him to do like a, a style of leg drag. So I'm actually gonna try and keep my foot across the hip or at least my shin attached to the leg. So ideally, and we're gonna spin like this, okay? So I lift my hips up off the ground. I tuck my, my shin across the leg. As we spin through, and we get to the same spot. Okay? So I'll show the, the basic one once more, okay? Rag goes for the knee through. We get this reverse de la hip hook like we did before. My foot goes on the hip. Now this time I reach under the leg as far as I can. Elbow all the way through. I'm gonna swing wide, bicep curl, and come around to the back. From here, drive forward, and left on the hips. Okay, let's have a go. Three, two, one. <laughs> 